The question is, what is the difference between the revelation of evil to the coarseness of youth that we feel? According to the coarseness that we have, we can discover the extent of the evil, the coarseness that can appear in us of youth that we can work from, the kind of coarseness that is given to us to correct. Otherwise, I can't see it. Either it's concealed from me or I instinctively conceal it. But that's, uh, you know, either way, it's not being revealed. Let's say right now we are going through states where, you know, somehow we, we tolerate one another or typically we are indifferent to one another. When we advance even more, we'll feel how much we care about being in a tighter connection. And then it, we care about having the friends behave in a different way. And they will demand it from me, I demand it from them, and then the degree of tension between us, the, this mutual demand, will be revealed a little more compared to how it is now. If we would understand the extent of our interdependence, each one would grab the other and just shake him. Truly. But for now, no, we're still in a, in a state of slumber. Our relationship between us say a lot about the fact that we are not waking up towards correction. Not yet. Kiev. Good morning, Rav. You already answered our question partially, but how to behave correctly. Let's say, let's say I see deficiencies in a friend and I try to justify him because these are mine deficiencies actually. So I justify him and all of a sudden I discover justifications for myself as well. So how not to run away into myself and eventually justify myself from within me? You should keep going. You see that, uh, after all, the Creator is the one who's running the show, is not going to let you calm things down. If you are in the study, the lessons, it's not just going to go simply. You'll, you will feel it.